I thought last year's senior class was one of the best we've had in the school since I've been here. They've made the playoffs three straight years. We're starting over just about every position. It's a big hit, losing 18 seniors from last year, but I feel like our guys could step up and take on the challenge. It makes them work harder to get along with everyone else, and the new kids coming up gives us another challenge. Every game's going to be a dog fight to win, you know? We're going to have to fight for everything we get. We're not just going to be able to go 40 and 0 like we used to be. If scores may close the whole game, we have to work hard for everything we get, fight for every inch. It's just running plays, running formations at least 10 times a day, just getting that into our head, you know, mentally preparing for game weeks. The good thing so far has been that our, our older kids, our, the few that we have, our seniors especially, they have been awesome. They've been where they're supposed to be, they've given great effort. It's actually been really enjoyable and it's not very enjoyable when you lose 18 kids very often, but these guys have made it pretty enjoyable because they, uh, they seem to like Richmond football. You can be good and they can be bad, but it's the fight of every team, so I think they're expecting us to have a fight. We go hard, we have a good offense, we just got to get our defense in, stop their run games. It's really just about hard-nosed kids, just ready to play. Everybody's excited, ready to get going with the games and just ready for the season. This group that's come back, they act like winners, you know, they carry themselves like winners. So I'm hoping that what everybody tells me that winning Breed's winning, I'm hoping it'll happen. Oh, when the lights come on, you're just a whole different animal. Like, it's, it's crazy. We are a young team this year, and we're working hard to become a, become a Ridgewood football team.